Hello everyone. Myself Dr. Harishankar Singh. In the previous videos, we have discussed about the Maxwell's equation and all the four Maxwell equations we have discussed for the time varying field. And in this video, I will discuss about the Maxwell equation for the static field and the free space region. So let's start. Initially, Maxwell defined the set of four equations of electromagnetism for time varying field where he suggested that rate of change of magnetic field will induce electric field and rate of change of electric field will induce magnetic field so in the generalized form of maxwell equation is given in the table you can see in the faraday law the del by del t of v will induce the electric field and del d by del t will induce the magnetic field. So this was the prediction of the Maxwell that rate of change of field will induce another field. And in the differential form, the Gauss law of electrostatics that is first Maxwell equation written as del dot d is equal to rho v. And in the integral form, it is written as closed surface integral d dot ds is equal to volume integral rho v dv and Gauss law of magnetostatic suggests that in the differential form del dot b is equal to 0 and in the integral form it is written as closed surface integral b dot ds is equal to 0 and we have discussed in the second Maxwell equation that isolated magnetic poles never exist and the third Maxwell equation is del cross e is equal to minus del b by del t and in the integral form it is written as closed integral e dot dl over contour c is equal to minus del by del t surface integral b dot ds and this is the faraday law modified by the maxwell and mps law suggests that del cross h is equal to j plus del d by del t and in the integral form, the Maxwell fourth equation is written as integral h dot dl over contour c is equal to surface integral j plus del d by del t dot ds. All these four equations are defined in the generalized form. And later on, we will discuss this equation for the various reasons. So initially, I have taken here the Maxwell equation in the static field. If the field is static, then there are no any change in the electric field with the time and you can say there will be no change in the magnetic field with the time. So we have del d by del t is equal to zero. If charge at rest position, we will have only conduction current. There will be no any displacement current. And in the Maxwell prediction, it was defined as displacement current will always be there if field is time varying. But here we have considered as static fields. Therefore, del d by del t is equal to 0. And in the magnetic static field, due to the steady current, del b by del t is defined as 0. And after considering these two facts, we can modify the all four Maxwell equation accordingly. So first Maxwell equation in the differential form is defined as del dot d is equal to rho v and this is the generalized equation and in the differential form and in the static field this equation remains same because there are no any variation in the field with the time here. So we will have same equation of the Maxwell in the static field that is del dot d is equal to rho v and Maxwell second equation is that del dot b is equal to zero and it is the in generalized form and in the static field it will always remain same because there are no any change in the field with the time factor and the third equation we know in the generalized form of Maxwell is that del cross e is equal to minus del b by del t here we have del b by del t and for the static field there will be no change in the magnetic field 
so we will have this factor as zero so for the static field maxwell equation is reduced that is del cross e is equal to zero and in the integral form it can be written as integral over contour c e dot dl is equal to zero because right hand side we have del by del t integral b dot ds if there are no any change in the magnetic flux with the time then we will have zero factor so maxwell third equation is modified for the static field and again the maxwell fourth equation is defined as del cross h is equal to j plus del d by del t this is the generalized form and in the static field we know that del d by del t is equal to zero that means we will only have the conduction current there will be no any displacement current in the static field so in the static field differential form can be written as del cross h is equal to j that is only conduction current no displacement current will be there due to the static field and the integral form is reduced as integral over contour c h dot dl is equal to surface integral j dot ds so maxwell third and fourth equation is modified in the static field where other two equations are remain same in the static fields now the second condition is that we have to define the maxwell equation in the free space and free space is characterized by certain parameter in the free space we know that relative permittivity epsilon r is 1 and relative permeability is also 1 whereas in the free space conductivity is 0 so we will have sigma is equal to 0 and there will be no any conduction current density that means j will be 0 in the free space because j is defined as sigma e and we will have sigma is 0 so there will be no any conduction current and in the free space we also know that volume charge density is equal to 0 that means rho v is equal to 0 and in the free space we know that intrinsic impedance or you can say characteristics impedance is defined as eta is equal to 120 pi or 377 ohm so according to these parameters we can modify the Maxwell equation for the free space. So generalized form in the table is given with the orange color box and the modified equation of the Maxwell for free space is given in the different color box. So in the differential form generalized equation of first Maxwell equation is written as del dot d is equal to rho v. And for the free space, we know that rho v is equal to 0. So first equation is modified. So we will have del dot d is equal to 0. Because in the free space, we will have rho v is equal to 0. And similarly, in the integral form, it can be modified as closed surface integral d dot ds is equal to 0. Because in the generalized form, we will have 0 value of the right hand side of the Maxwell first equation and Maxwell second equation will remain same that means del dot b is equal to 0. Third equation of Maxwell for the free space will always be remain same as del cross e is equal to minus del b by del t this is the generalized equation in the free space this equation remains same as del cross e is equal to minus del b by del t and the integral form will also be same whereas the maxwell fourth equation will be modified in the free space because in the free space we will not have conduction current we will only have the displacement current so the first term that is the conduction current j will be disappear from the maxwell equation in the free space so in the free space maxwell fourth equation can be written as del cross h is equal to del d by del t only because j is equal to sigma e the conductivity of the free space is zero so we will have j is equal to zero so only we will have del cross h is equal to del d by del t 
and in the integral form it can be written as line integral over contour c h dot dl is equal to surface integral del d by del t dot ds. So we will not have any conduction current density there only we will have displacement current density. So the conclusion is that Maxwell first and Maxwell fourth equation is modified in the free space and second and fourth equation remains same in the free space according to the defined parameter of the free space. Thank you for watching this video.